I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be, is watching porn bad? Well, I got a quick question here from a guy I had a coaching session with last week. And he says, I got a question for you. He says, I stopped looking at porn, which for some reason enabled me to attract the girl I'm dating now. This was something I struggled with for many years, including the years that I had talked with you previously. Is it wrong for an alpha male to look at porn? And I would say, at the end of the day, when a man has a desire, which if you're a normal, healthy human male, you're going to find the opposite sex attractive. And in order to, I mean, if you're not very successful with women, if some way you're going to have to get an outlet, whether it's jerking off or watching pornography. Some way you got to fulfill your need, one way or another. And if you're unable to do it because you, you, don't, you haven't practiced the skills or you don't know the skills in order to be more successful with women, some guys use pornography as an outlet because they're unwilling to do the work on themselves that they, that they need to do. I remember when I was in real estate, I had a guy that used to work for me. He was a good-looking dude, but his game sucked, and he was terrible. He, he had no problem getting women he wasn't really that into, but with chicks that he really liked, he just totally turned into a weak, needy guy. And he, used to, and he was a very successful guy. He made multiple six figures working for me. And he used to tell us, I mean, he would, he, like several times a day, he'd be sitting in his office watching porn, running a batch, jerking off in his office before his appointments or whatever. Obviously, you know, these guys all had nice offices that they worked out of and they locked their doors. But he's like, he'd tell me sometimes he'd go in the bathroom and he'd been there running a batch. I'm like, that's just fucked up. But so why was he doing that? Why was he watching porn? And Because he wasn't getting any in his real life. And that was how he went about it. And this particular client of mine, it's like I said, you, you when you focus, like he, what he's done that's completely made him successful with women is not by going out and chasing after women. He's focused on his acting career. He he finished his acting degree this past summer, and or it's been about, it's past May, May he, he finished, or maybe it was December, I can't remember. But he finished his acting degree, and so he's been out there acting. He's just busy as fuck, going on casting calls, doing parts here and there. He's not making a lot of money doing it, but he's having the best time of his life because it's his passion. People are giving him standing ovations when he's doing plays and stuff, and he's just doing a doing an outstanding job of being focused on being at his best personally. And because he's been so focused on this, he exudes confidence. He acts like the guy who is the captain of the football team. I mean, think about it. He's getting up on stage in front of a lot of people, and people are clapping. So all the women in the audience or women that he's working with are seeing this, and it makes him more attractive because everybody wants to hang out with the dominant male. Everybody wants to hang out with the guy that's successful, that gets all the girls, that gets all the applause, that makes all the money, that has all the cool cars, that always has the cool jokes that everybody wants to be around. And that's what he's done. He's, he's focused on being at his best personally and let this crap with pornography and all this other stuff fall by the wayside. And he attracted this great woman into his life because he, be, he made himself a catch. He became more attractive to women by simply focusing on becoming a better man and going to college for the past two years and getting his degree in acting and improving his craft. And now he's, he's doing it every spare second that he can. When he's, there, when he's not working, he's rehearsing for a part. And he's only sleeping like four, five, six hours a day. I mean, he's just an absolute machine. And why? Because he's inspired. And the word inspired comes from the Latin ver, uh, version of in spiritu, which means in spirit. And literally, it's like well, I talk about so much about being in your heart. So if, whatever career you're working or whatever job you're working at or business that you want to create, you got to do something you have a passion for. And that's why this guy is, is doing so well is because he's focused on, even though his family doesn't support him, his parents especially, they don't, they don't support his choice for acting because they think it's a total fucking waste of time. But he loves it, and the reason he's good at it is because he practices at it so much. Repetition is the mother of skill. So if you find this message of value, you can show your appreciation by going to my website, click the PayPal Donate button, which is at the bottom of your screen in the Wibia toolbar, and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information or my ebook or any of my articles. 
If you have a question you want to ask me, you can go to my website, click the Contact Me tab on the left-hand side of your screen. Send me one to two paragraphs maximum detailing your questions, your situation, or whatever challenges that you're ha having. And just got to give me several days to get back to you with a response because I get a lot of email from the internet and I also get a lot of my paying phone coaching customers. But be patient and I will get back to you. And if you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. And you can do that by clicking the products tab, which is at the top of your screen on my website, and just follow the instructions. And I will talk to you soon.